these are um, three different Stitchletons um, of different ages. They're about a month apart. So, so this cheese is about a month old. Uh, and this one, two months. And that, three months and a little bit over three months. And just to give you an idea of how the cheese matures. So the young cheese, this is actually just, hasn't gone into the maturing room yet. As you notice, it also it hasn't been pierced. This cheese here has just been pierced. You can see the holes in it where the needles have gone in. This one is pristine. Apart from the, the, the piercing of the cheese, which allows the blue to grow on the inside, this cheese has got a very different rind, as you'll notice from that. The young cheese just gets a sort of yellowy, yeasty rind. It starts off quite sticky. And then it comes to this stage, it's drying off, and you're getting this rather lovely, white, dry mould on it. So this young cheese, because it hasn't been pierced, has no blue on the inside, or it shouldn't have. So let's have a look at what it looks like inside. Let's have a look. Okay. There's a tiny bit of blue here started, you see, but most of the of the cheese is this a rather pristine white, crumbly, um, moist, wonderful thing. The blues come into this little corner because there's a tiny crack here on the outside and you only need the, the, the air to get through the rind into these little fissures and then the blue will start to grow because the blue or any mould needs air to grow. So that's the young cheese. This is the adolescent. It's got a sticky coat. The young yeastiness of, the, of this one has come through and you've got other things growing on it producing this sort of almost like a French wash rind cheese. So you've got quite a smelly aroma. I'm going to cut this a little bit differently. So let's get through this one. have a look at what it looks like inside. Now, as I said before, it's been pierced, so the needles have gone into it, this one hasn't, and once the needles go in, the air can go into the inside, find its way through the fissures, and activate the blue mould, which is the spores of which are just lying in wait. So, let's hope, yeah, that is a perfect young blue cheese. You can see it's still got quite a lot of the crumbliness of this one. So the blue is in there, but it hasn't really got going. Around the outside of the cheese, in this bit, the rind activity is really making it quite soft. And that, the flavour here will be fantastic. You wouldn't normally buy the cheese at this age. I'm only cutting it like this to show you how it sort of develops and evolves. The next cheese is this one, and that's the one that will be just about ready for sale. The rind, the stickiness of this has begun to go, and it's got this lovely burnished bronzy colour with some of the white coming over it. And look at the colour compared to the others immediately. This has got that brilliant sparkly white. This is sort of white but going creamy, but you can see the sort of goldenness of this one, which is just fabulous. And here, you've got this lovely pinky region where the rind's actually coming into the cheese. I always, it's probably been seen as a fault by many technical people, but I love that. I think there's a, an amazing flavour in that kind of area. And I think that's the main thing to know is that there are, there are many cheeses in one and different regions of the cheese will taste differently. And I think if you just, if I offered a taste of that piece versus a taste of that piece, you'd almost be tasting two different cheeses.
there's a, a lovely greeny blue section here and blue here. If I taste that actual blue bit, you get that very metallic pointy blue flavor that, that is familiar from other blue cheeses. But in many other blue cheeses, that's the only flavor that you get. The flavor I like best is, is the flavor around the blue. It's the flavor from the, the, the bit of cheese here. This bit isn't, isn't blue, but it's gone soft by the influence of the blue around it. The blue mold has softened this bit. So tasting that bit, if you can almost surgically remove it. And that, that is sweet and honeyed and delicious. And then again, if we taste this, do you see that, how it glistens right, right in there, that orangey bit? That is like nectar. And there's no other cheese flavour like that anywhere. It's sublime. So I hope you've now got an idea of how the stitches and cheese ripens through from the young, crumbly, creamy to the sort of slightly bitter, just beginning to blue adolescent to the full creaminess and richness of the, of the mature cheese. But also to know that the piece of cheese you take home of Stitchelton will have different pieces in it. They'll be creamier, they'll be crumblier, they'll be blue, they'll be the rind sections. So if you just taste the blue bit, you will taste one version of the piece of cheese that you've got. And pay attention, and it's, it's interesting. I find it fascinating, and I hope you do.